Some for Thought for the Day, the speaker this morning is Canon Rachel Mann. Good morning. Books have been banned since at least Roman antiquity, when Ovid was banished for writing The Art of Love. In 1859, George Eliot's novel Adam Bede was attacked as the vile outpourings of a lewd woman's mind, leading to its withdrawal from circulation libraries. In 2022, the American Library Association reported that attempts to ban books were up 38% from the previous year. The vast majority, according to the association, were written by or about members of the LGBT plus community and people of colour. The report then, that a school district in Utah has removed the Bible from elementary and middle schools for containing vulgarity and violence, might raise some eyebrows. The Bible is, after all, often seen as a text beloved in more conservative US states. The ban follows a complaint from a parent that the Bible has material unsuitable for children, though the banning committee did not elaborate on which passages contained vulgarity or violence. There's no doubt that the Bible is remarkable. It is, as C.S. Lewis said, a treasure house of English prose. It's contributed at least 250 phrases to the language, more than any other source including Shakespeare. Its distinctive phrases include the grapes of wrath and a fly in the ointment. Is it suitable reading for children? Well, I certainly understand why parents might want their child's first Bible to use more accessible language. And there's no doubt that some parts of scripture warrant a content warning. There's murder, mass killing and sexual violence. I suppose the real question for me is whether the Bible is suitable reading for adults. I say this only partly with tongue in cheek. This ancient book has the abiding power to both capture and challenge truths about the human condition. The stories it contains of violence and exploitation can shock, but they expose the depths of the human capacity for self-centeredness and deception. More significantly, as I read it, the ultimate bias of scripture is to claim that God is love. The person who reads it risks not only being convinced of humanity's wickedness, but their life might actually be worthy of divine love and forgiveness. If that doesn't convince you that the Bible is a dangerous read, perhaps the artificial intelligence chat GBT summary of it will. When recently asked by a journalist to suggest a blurb for the Bible, chat GBT called it the ultimate guide to life, love and eternal salvation. With enough drama and plot twists to rival Game of Thrones, it's sure to keep you entertained for thousands of years to come. And that was Thought for the Day with Canon Rachel Mann.